My name is Crypto Dog to the rescue. Welcome to my channel. I'm still doing a 100 subscriber and 150 subscriber giveaway for a cold storage coin, whether it's an Ethereum one like this one or a Bitcoin one. Um, so leave your address below in the comments, uh, whether it's a Bitcoin and Ethereum, I'll be sending $20 off so you can put some money on the coin when uh, the winner uh, gets it in the mail. So uh, moving forward here, uh, the coin market cap right now, 286 billion, and today is June 21st. Uh, looks like we're just kind of hanging around for Bitcoin anyway, that 6,700 um, price. And uh, it's just kind of going sideways right now after, you know, looks like a nice little down, uh, you know, dump with the, uh, the big money and then big pump up, you know, uh, in the past seven days. So it's a good thing to see um, that it's, it's sustaining at 6,700 as opposed to staying around that 6,450 line, which is like a precipice for us. So this Spectre.ai, I mean, boom, 847%. Wow. I mean, obviously this coin must have just come out because I've never heard of it, but or it was just flatlining for a while. Something happened here. So I'm going to look into the Spectre AI just to kind of find out what's going on. Looks like we all missed the boat on that one, but really great one. And this centrality is 57%. I mean, boom, just took a spike up. So... You know, good thing to see. It looks like ETC is on there, Ethereum Classic. It's still going up, so it's kind of fighting against the norm. And KuCoin shares. Well, that's good to know. I have KuCoin shares, so that's good. Uh, moving forward into Bitcoin real quick, just to kind of take a look at it and see what we're looking at. It's a day chart from GDAX on Coinigy. And, I, you know, I use the 200 and the 20 MA a lot uh, for gauging things and for trading. I mean, you know, day traders and swing traders on the stock market do not make things complicated for themselves you know and, and they, they try to make it as easy as possible and to find you know the power moves and the power um, plays when what things are happening what the elephants are doing which is big money I call them the elephants um, and so on and so forth so just things that I like to look at and again it's still underneath that 200 MA quite a big distance away and the 20 MA is obviously right on top of it so um, coming to a point you know when it starts touching that 20 MA is it going to go back down or is it going to break that 20 MA and then go back up? We'll see if it just rides it for a while and goes sideways. But, you know, just wanted to touch on it. Obviously, due to Bitcoin dominance, it's something to look at for the most part. Something I, uh, I found out here um, uh, today is the UK Exchange Crypto Facilities launches Litecoin futures trading. This is big. I mean, Litecoin is huge um, as far as a liquidity token. So it's very liquid and, you know, they have POS systems already up and so on and so forth. And now uh, Crypto Facilities, who uh, works with CME, um, they're, they're opening up Litecoin futures in UK. And, you know, they've already done Ethereum, I believe, in May. And, you know, it, it's, it's, it's taken off when it comes to the futures market. And, you know, Litecoin is one that I'm looking for, for as a day trade right now. So I'm going to be day trading this one, hopefully, if I uh, make enough money off my swings in mining and other streams um, of income. Not from you guys. It's from other different streams of income that I do. Don't need anybody to pay my bills and do my do my things, but I, I would like some help with the dog rescuing and so on, which is why I put affiliate links down and so on and so forth. It's not for me. It's for the dogs. Um, so that's a good thing to see. Litecoin futures. Great thing to see. So getting into mining a little bit, you know, I'm a miner and, um, you know, I watch a lot of people and I, and I read a lot of things. And, you know, when I come to find out that these people have never mined before. It's really hard for me to listen to these people when they don't know what they're talking about. So I just want to let you guys know that I'm a miner, all right? And I understand the mining and what happens when things go sideways, especially with mining and, and the, uh, the, the companies that work around mining. You know, the GPU providers, the big ones, are AMD and NVIDIA. Um, and this, this um, article says cryptocurrency mining affects AMD stock while NVIDIA overestimates GPU demand. So it kind of a big thing if you want to become a miner or anything like that, you know, GPU prices have just skyrocketed. They're just, they're, they're huge since January. Um, and now they're starting to kind of go down um, based on the demand for them. And um, AMD was, I mean, they, they've kind of, you know, are looking ahead of the game even in February and March, and they knew that this was coming. And so they figured it out to where, um, you know, they didn't have a, a problem with stock and an overstock issue, and their stock is now rising based on the mining demand. Well, NVIDIA, they misappropriated their GPU demand. They, they kind of said that they were going to stop launching new GPUs for a long time, and they're just going to sell whatever they have now. Well, 
you know, unfortunately, that that didn't work out for them now. So now they have this big um, uh, demand and they don't have, you know, or I'm sorry, they have this uh, with excess inventory um, of its flagship 10 series cards. So um, they, they're sitting on a bunch of inventory now that they can't move. Um, so based on, you know, the demand of the GPUs going down for mining. Now, mining, you know, the difficulty for mining is going up dramatically. So with that being said, you have new coins always coming out. So everybody's looking for a new coin to mine. You know, Loki's a good coin to mine right now because it's at a, a small thing. The difficulty rate's not that high. Um, and you can get paid, you know, 100 to 200 Loki coins a week. You know, if not, or I'm sorry, every three days, maybe do have seven days, but it depends on how many, you know, GPs you have. But the, the point is, is, is when you see NVIDIA misappropriate GPU demand, you know, they're sitting on an excess inventory. That means price is hopefully going to go down for these NVIDIA cars. Now, I'm an AMD uh, GPU miner. So, you know, because I, I work with um, uh, algorithms that work stronger with AMD. And NVIDIA obviously has, you know, uh, GPU cards that can do just as much as AMD does, if not more. Um, so I'm going to look into an NVIDIA uh, little garden, too. So now I'm going to have an AMD and hopefully an NVIDIA garden as well to uh, kind of double my profits and, and, and spread out my mining, you know, to different GPU cards. So it's a good thing to see if you want to get into mining. NVIDIA is probably uh, good to start, you know, looking into buying, you know, since they have an excess inventory, you know, and buying maybe in bulk, you know, six to nine cards at a time you may get a nice deal out of it. Uh, so, and this is, you know, the whole kind of the reason, uh, faces inventory issues with reduced crypto mining demand. So based on the, the mining demand of cryptocurrency, the sales have dropped and now they're sitting on all these cards because they, you know, they didn't want to keep making new cards with, you know, that are better and better and better. They just thought they can pump out more of the same 10 cards that they've been doing and sell them off. Didn't happen for them. So now those 10 cards are going to be on a, on a sale, I would think. And then they're going to possibly change the direction and start making new models of cards or GPU cards so they can do their, um, so they can sell. Uh, so an another thing I was looking at, Coindesk here news, Vinklevoss Brothers score another crypto investment patent. So now they've got a patent for ETPs, which is like an ETF, uh, which is exchange traded product. And it just basically works as an e ETF. And it's a type of security, the price of which is derived from other investment in instruments, in, in this case, cryptocurrency. So that's kind of, um, you know, you can't have exchange traded funds because it's not a stock. We can have exchange traded products, you know, intangible asset. So makes sense. And man, I mean, really watch these guys. They got their Gemini um, exchange, you know, and it, it's not it's a good exchange. It's not great. It's not anything, you know, special. But man, they, they're just coming up, they're just pumping out patents left and right for this stuff. So uh, it's good to see, to see, you know, we're getting more investors in and ETPs and so on and so forth. We need other money, but it's still good to kind of move that way. Um, EOS, I wanted to get into EOS. I hate EOS. I don't like it. And I, I like this guy. Um, uh, I'm even sewer something. So I'll get down to it. EOS will see massive exchange hack this year. Cornell professor says. So this Cornell professor, um, Eamon, Eamon Gunsir, he's a science professor, developer and computer science professor at Cornell University. Now, he's one of the big uh, guys that are kind of telling us, you know, the, the macro news of what's going on here. And he, I mean, he really doesn't like EOS as well. So that's why we kind of have like minds when it comes to that. But uh, you know, he's calling it. So this is kind of what he says right here. I'm calling it. There will be a massive exchange hack within the next year, taking advantage of an EOS vulnerability that exchanges will lose its hot wallet. Hackers will send the proceeds to downstream exchanges where they will trade into other coins. So the problem is, is, is with this patch as you go, you know, EOS is, is hitting these problems um, and, and they're just patching it as a go to keep, keep everything moving. So, you're just going to be reactive instead of proactive to the issues that they know they already have. So it's a duck. I'm telling you guys, walks like a duck, quacks like a duck, just has some really good smoke screens with like 20 billion, you know, coins are given away on their EOS blockchain from other projects and so on and so forth. I looked at these projects. There's nothing with them. There's no, you know, working product. There's no prototype. There's, there's nothing of the sort. So 
you know, you know, take it with a grain of salt, do your own in research, but I really don't like EOS just based on, you know, you have a hundred nodes and those are going to be, um, you know, the forefront nodes that everybody has to work under. Uh, with that being said, hackers are going to exploit that. You have a hundred nodes. Everybody's going to know what these hundred nodes are that are going to be the lead, you know, the leaders apparently with these nodes. So then they're going to be central. They're going to be hacked. They're going to be seen to be hacked in many, many different ways, and they're going to get hacked. So that's kind of what this guy is saying, and I've been saying it in the past couple of videos as well. So I don't like EOS, but I'm going to give you guys uh, maybe an alternative if you guys want to look at something alternative. So Limpo. Limpo hasn't been doing too good. They're down to like almost five cents, you know, and down in the five cent range. And uh, I'm like, what's going on with Limpo? You know, I thought you guys, you know, were going to be at least sustaining. And I come to find out they're just, they're trying to just expand and then they've, um, they're just letting the stock do its thing now and they're just going to keep expanding. So Kcash, now now they're in uh, expanding into Asia. Um, it's been added to the Kcash official wallet, uh, the Ethos uh, wallet. They're going to be um, doing airdrops with Lim and some other coins and so on and so forth. And I'll get into that in a little bit, but I just wanted to look, see, show you that. You know, Lim's, Lim is doing some some work. You know, they're they're going to Asia and they're pushing it hard in Asia right now before the uh, the application launches in uh, September. And of course, Dallas Mavericks, uh, Ethfinex, Bitfinex, which I don't really like Bitfinex too much, but it is what it is. And so, looking into Ethos here, um, you know, I was kind of interested in these airdrops. As you're saying, as I'm saying, you know, EOS has these 20 billion airdrop tokens that they're doing from all these other uh, projects. And Ethos is doing the same thing. So if you um, if you register with them, real quick registration, you know, and then you have to verify your email. They're going to have community airdrop coins with all of these coins right here. And these are coins that are going on right now. They have working products and prototypes and so on, so so forth. So you know, you're not you can't say that these are you know ICOs or new projects. These are projects that are ongoing. You know, Seal, Polymath. Limpo, I mean, I mean, you got some great restart energy. You got some great, you know, um, sync fab, you know, that you got some great coins that they're going to be doing airdrops to. And a lot of these coins don't give out free coins. They, they've, they've said it smack free, you know, smack down on telegrams and so on and so forth. Don't ask us for free stuff. We're not giving it. That's not what our, we're all about. We're, we're about real product and real world uh, um, uh, usage. So you guys want some real free airdrops? Just I know I signed up uh, through my emails, and so now I'm just gonna wait for airdrops. Hopefully, I get them. So just an alternative to EOS and all their airdrops. If you're not looking for, not pushing limpo, make your own decisions. Not a financial advisor at all, but you know, uh, uh, if you're looking for another possible alternative to EOS, look at high power blockchain. They're considered the Chinese EOS. Um, so last but not least, crypto fear and greed index. Yesterday was at 34. Today's at 37, so that's a great thing to see that it's still going up. Everybody's getting more confidence and taking their money out of Tether and True and putting it back to work. So it's a great thing to see. So you guys have a great day. My name is Crypto Dog to the rescue. Please like, subscribe, hit the bell, comment below, and keep up the grind.